being here another Sunday. Amen. Yes, we are live this morning, Lord God. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we just want to say thank you for allowing us to see another day, oh God, of your grace and your mercy, Father. Amen. We don't take for granted of the light that you give us, Lord God, because tomorrow is not promised, Father. Father God, I thank you right now for the victory that has already been won, Lord God, even through the circumstances, even through the things that we, have, that we go through, oh God. But the victory is still yours and it's still ours to Amen. celebrate, Father God. Father, I'm asking you right now, oh God, that you would change our mindset, oh God, and not be so indulged in the distraction of this world, oh God, and even the distraction that may uh, be in our daily lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I'm asking you right now that you begin to shift our heart, our mind. Uh, unto you, Lord God, that we have a worship and we have a praise on our lips, Father. I'm asking you right now that you begin to do a new thing in the atmosphere on today, Father God, in the house, Lord God. I'm asking you right now that you begin to meet those that are here in the house right now, but those that are on their way, Father, and those that are on yes. East Campus, Lord God. Whatever it may be that may be tugging on their heart, Father God, whatever healing and deliverance that they may need, Lord God, I'm asking you right now that we'll meet it on today, Lord God. Let there be a refreshment, let there be a, a fire that overflows Amen. like never before on today, Lord God. Let there even be a new song in, 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 in the worship, of God. Do something new that we have not yet to experience, each and every one of us individually, oh God. Minister to us where we need to be ministered. Tweak those things so we can be more uh, so we can be more like you, Lord God. Amen. I just want to say thank you, Lord God, for just being our Abba Father, oh God, and not being like men, oh God. And continue to give a chance after chance after chance, even through our flop, even through our mess up, Lord God. We just want to say thank you, Lord, for just being who you are all by yourself, Lord God. I thank you for your goodness. And your mercy, Lord God. And most of all, your love, Lord God. Amen. Your agape love, Father. Continue to wrap your arms upon us like never before, God. Even through the trials and tribulations, Lord God. I ask you right now, God, that you even convict the heart that don't even know you, Lord God. But let them get, let, allow them to experience you in ways they have not yet experienced you, Lord God. Even if it's through a song, even if it's through a smile. However, you need to do, Lord God, to bring them onto you. Oh God, Amen. so they won't go go into the gate of hell, oh God, but to meet you in glory, Father. I'm asking you right now, Lord God, I must see hey, that you have your way on today like never before, Father. Hallelujah. And I just want to say thank you, oh God, for the celebration of the victory Amen. that we're going to celebrate on today, Lord God. Despite what our circumstances may look like. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. We give your name our honor. Glory and praise in Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. And as we continue in prayer, Father, we thank you today, Lord God, for the understanding when we talk about we are victorious. It's not just about that we got a thing, but it's just that we've been able to stand through whatever things that we go through. Amen. We thank you today for the victory to be able to stand. We thank you, Lord God, for the victory to give us the strength we need to be able to press in, to be an overcomer, to be able to stand in the midst of any trials, tribulations, or attacks. God, I thank you today, Father, that many of us have been pressing through. Father, but I just want you to, to remind us today to have that victorious attitude. Amen. That, Lord God, we thank you that we have an attitude that we are winners. We have an attitude and a mindset and a belief that no matter what we see in front of us, if it's not your, if it's not what you have declared over us, it is not what we're believing. We're going to continue to press and trust what you have said for us. So Father, I thank you today. I ask for a refreshing, Lord God, of your people. Because even in the midst, Lord, when we press, when we're going, when we're doing, when we're standing, don't mean that our flesh and our normal human side don't get a little weary. But I thank you that today, God, today, God, for that, for strength today, for the ability to keep standing, uh, both natural strength 
and spiritual strength. Because what the enemy will do, he'll try to come in in our, in our weakness, whether we're just tired, fatigued, he'll try to come in and discourage. Oh, but Lord God, today, we thank you that we are encouraged in you. We are reminded of who we are. We're reminded of whose we are. And we're reminded today, Lord God, that we have the victory. Uh, God, I thank you today, Father, even doing the service. Lord, let your spirit just come in here and permeate this place. Lord, every seat, every person. Father, help us to receive from you today, Lord God, because we press through. Uh, those that have been able to press through, I hear the Lord say thank you uh, for pressing through. God said you press through. He said it, it just keep trusting that even in the press through, there's something he's doing in the midst of you. He's building you. He's giving you more strength. He's giving you more clarity. He's giving you more direction. Father, I thank you right now for even being able to keep pressing through. Father, I thank you right now that there's an abundance that's on the inside of us that you are manifesting, that you are uh, perfecting, that you are working on, and that it's going to come out and come forth in us in this time. So God, I just thank you for victory. Uh, give us a new understanding of what that means. Lord God, we victorious because we woke up this morning, somebody. You woke up this morning. You still got victory. You woke up this morning. That means God said, I ain't done with you. You got up this morning. You took one foot in front of the other. That's a victory because somebody could put one foot in front of the other. You was able to raise your hand. Uh, that's a victory because somebody can't use their hand. You was able to think. Somebody don't, ain't able to think. God, we thank you for every small victory. Uh, God, I've been able to open my big mouth. I thank you because somebody wasn't able to open their mouth. Somebody wasn't able to speak today. Somebody don't have their memory intact. In God, I thank you. We thank you for everything today. We are victorious because we have we are able to stand. We're victorious because we're able to trust. We're victorious because we're able to pray. We're victorious because we're able to move and do what you call for us to do. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God said it's time for us to look at victory in a whole new way. Sometimes we're looking for uh, the end thing, and that's the only time we think we're victorious. When we get to the end of the thing, God said, don't you know you victorious in your walk? He said you victorious in your walk. Nah, you a soldier. You a soldier. You a soldier. Ah, hold it. God said you a soldier. He said you a soldier. You a soldier. That makes you victorious because you in the right army. Oh, I feel you, Jesus. Ah, I hear the Lord say to you this morning, Leslie. He said you are a soldier. You are a soldier. You are a soldier. He said, you are a soldier. He said, and because you are a soldier, he said, I have given you the tools for every battle. I've given you the strategies for every attack. I've given you the intel for everything you need. God said, I have not left you out here unaware and unprotected. I hear the Lord say for you today, your victory is in the fact that you got some blueprints. He said your victory today is the fact that you got a path. He said your victory today is because not only do you have a path, he said, but it's a lit one. <laughs> it's a lit one. He said, I got light at your feet so you know if you're standing in the right place. He said, I got light for along the way. Why? So that you won't happen to step off a cliff. That you won't step this way or that way and get out of sorts. God said in the things that you have been asking him about lately, that's between you and him, but you know what I'm talking about. He said, the things that you've been asking him about lately, he said, don't worry, you're not going to fall off a cliff. Huh? He said, because if anything is wrong, he's going to distinctly let you know that's a dark space. Huh? I don't go in that direction. I only walk where I see light. Huh? He said, you are a great discerner of what it's like. Huh? He said, and if you see darkness, you have no part of it. He said, so don't be discouraged. Huh? He said, even sometimes, it don't always make sense, but sometimes God will allow you to go through a thing simply because he's trying to teach you how to hear him better. He's teaching you how to understand him better. He said, so if something don't work out this way, he said, don't worry. He said, because I know the plans that I have for you. And they are a good plan. He said, an excellent plan. Uh, something above and beyond what you can think. Uh, he said, but in this season, soldier, he said, I am rising you up even greater than you've ever known before. Powers, abilities, anointings, giftings. He said, I'm taking them to new levels in this season. He said, I'm moving them beyond what you even thought. He said, and it's funny because I know you cut your hair at different
different seasons and different times. But it was like you cut your hair. And even as I see you now, it's like he said, you, you cut your hair because it was symbolic that you was cutting off some stuff. You were cutting off some old stuff. You were getting yourself ready. You were like, I need to be able to have flexibility and movement. Uh, he said, I need to be able to uh, move. And you're almost like I see you doing a matrix move. Like, uh-uh, that ain't coming for me. And so I hear the Lord say, all things that you do, sometimes they don't make sense. He said, but in the natural, they don't always make sense. He said, but they always have a spiritual uh, application. And so, daughter, he says to you, he said, soldier, soldier, he said, you have the victory. He said, you have the victory. 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 Oh, God, today we thank you for being victorious in this place. Ah, uh, uh, Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for victory. I, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Uh, Miss Darla, I hope you say hey, he can adorable suit. I hear the Lord saying for you that the victory for you comes in your ability to stand. You be tired, poor baby. You be working this way and doing that. He said, but the fact that you keep pushing, he said, I'll do it's like he said, I'm breathing on you in a different way. He said, I'm breathing on you in a different way. He said, I'm breathing on you in a different way. He said, so even when you feel the tide, you go, you're gonna feel like a a jolt that just gonna wake you up. God said, in this season, you got the victory because I'm not gonna let tiredness overwhelm you. He said, I'm not gonna let the tiredness of work and life overwhelm you. He said, I'm building something better and bigger in you. And Father, I thank you for this new job, a new job, new job. I thank you for the new job, new job, new job. I thank you for the new job, the new job, the new job. Father, make it plain, make it simple, show her where to go. I see you in places of leadership they have not been able, they have not where you currently are, they have not understood who you are huh? and they don't understand the leadership uh, and the leadership ability on the inside of you, but God said I've not forgotten about you, he said and I'm going to raise you up in this season, watch it I don't care what it is, I'm believing it by faith, that God said even coming into the first three quarter, the first quarter of the new year, I'm just declaring that you won't begin to see and don't be afraid to go look at me because it may not come knocking at your door, so you ask the Lord to say, Lord, where is my new job? Show me where it is. So you will be, and, and when he show you, don't be like, oh, that's above my pay grade, so to speak. He said, yeah, I know. Because I'm the one that made it. So, so you step above your pay grade. You step above where you think you thank you all to be. He said, I'm rising you up in this season. Father, we thank you for victory today. Victory, victory, victory. We thank you for victory. I thank you for victory for Jocelyn and Torian in this season. God, I thank you for even financial blessings coming their way. I thank you, Father, that in this season of victory, uh, there's a, the connections, the right connections, the right, uh, it's like a puzzle. You know, you see all these pieces and sometimes you don't know how to put the puzzle together. But you know what? Some people start on the corner. Some people start in different places. But once they figure out what two pieces go together, then they can start to build a puzzle. And that's what God said he's doing. He's showing you how to bring the pieces together and then the puzzle will build. God said you two have been destined to have financial wealth. And I decree and declare that over you in the name of Jesus. That he's going to show you what that looks like. He's going to provide you the strategies for that. You won't have to work yourself to death. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. God said he's going to show you how. He said he's going to give you tools. He's going to give you strategies. And, and even though you may have jobs, God said look outside of the box to also see the places that he wants to give you financially. Some things that you like to do, your photography, things that you like to do. God said I can blow on that. And I can bring financial wealth from that. So, Father, I thank you right now for Torian. Father, you give him uh, the ability to see what's in his hand to be able to work those things that will bring him to that place financially where they are able to do what they want to do, Lord God. Be able to buy property and, and, and rehab and do things where they are seeing uh, uh, land ownership. So, Father, I thank you for those things that you're going to do in their lives. Lord, I thank you for Jocelyn, even for your her next step, Father. Even right now, she may be doing some moving back and forth simply because of, of work. But, Father, there's coming a time where there's even so be some elevation for her and there'll be some stabilizing of some things. Uh, Father, so I thank you, Father, for all that you're doing in their lives. And I just thank you for the victory. God, we thank you today 
is the day of victory. Victory. Victory in Jesus. I, I have victory. You have victory. We believe in by faith that God is going to give us the victory in whatever it is that we stand in need of. And so today, God, we say thank you. Have your way in this service today. Lord God, let somebody receive what they need through the preach word, through the, through the singing of the songs, through the prayers that go forth. Father, we declare that we are victorious and we shall have the victory. In Jesus' name, this is our prayer. Amen, amen. and amen. amen.